friends. Welcome back to another day in the life of a teacher vlog. So it is Wednesday, January 20th, a big day in the US. Um, I think today is inauguration day and I am teaching virtual. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know um, that our school district did send us back virtual for two weeks. So uh, we will be at home until January 29th, I believe is the day that we're scheduled to come back. Um, teachers are required to come and work on campus. So that's why I'm here. Otherwise, I would probably work from home, honestly, because these last couple of days being here by myself has been really um, exhausting. Um, just the fact that I have everything, I've been planned out for like about a month and grading is going by really quickly. So I'm kind of sitting here twiddling my thumbs a lot, <laughs> which if I was at home, I could be way more productive. Um, so I'm a, I'm a little bit, you know, irked about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm just making the best out of my days while I'm here. A couple things I really wanted to share with you. So I am doing another collaboration. This video is actually not sponsored, but is in collaboration with Zymph Optical. And you guys know, I love my glasses. I wear them every single day. I hate wearing contacts. So whenever a new glasses company reaches out to collaborate with me, I dive in because I know I'm going to wear them. Um, and so I decided to partner up with Zymph Optical for this video. And so I'm gonna just share with you guys three pairs of glasses that I ordered. Um, and I will have links and coupon codes and all of that good stuff down in the description box below for all of you. If you are interested in purchasing any of these frames or any other frames from Zymph that you're interested in. So the very first pair is obviously the pair that I have on now. And I'm just gonna take them off to kind of show you. So they're kind of like a round cat eye kind of shape going on. And there's like this empty triangle on the side there. I think that is so cool. Um, I love the structure of the glasses. They're very sturdy. Um, they're not like loose or flimsy or anything like that. Um, the earpieces are really interesting. They're not like flat. So these are not gonna fall off my head. They grip onto my head pretty good. Um, I've only worn these a couple of times and the first time I wore them, my head did hurt a little bit just because it was the first time I've worn them. I haven't really broken them in yet. So um, they did kind of hurt, but I love them. Um, Zymph is very similar to many glasses companies online. You put in your prescription, you buy the frames, you pay extra for the lenses, depending on what type of lens you want. The price can increase, the price can decrease. You can do blue light blocking, uh, bifocal, transitions, all of that good stuff within the website. So uh, Zymph is definitely a company that I will be using again, just because their styles are really cute. So um, this first pair, obviously I'm wearing today. And then the other two pairs are actually sunglasses because I feel like I have an abundance of regular glasses and I just don't have enough sunglasses. <laughs> um, next time I'll probably get more glasses, glasses, but this pair is super cute very different than what I'm used to purchasing, but I think it's exactly the same kind of situation here, uh, the same kind of shape. These ones are more of like a, they're almost like hexagonal, but they're not. They have this like cool, like hexagonal shape at the bottom. And then again with like the pointed um, geometric corners. So I thought these were kind of interesting. I actually really like them. They're kind of like a super stylish aviator wannabe. And I really like them. Um, I really like the dark black on gold. So I, I, I got that. And I like how these kind of wrap around the lens. Those are kind of cool. And then these are my all-time favorite glasses. Like from here on out, like nothing can top these. Um, I wasn't sure I was gonna be so in love with them, but they showed up and I was like <gasps> getting giddy. So. These are my favorite. They're these super cute, um, obviously sunglasses, but they have these super awesome lightning bolts on the side there. Um, and they just look super fun. Uh, they also have lightning bolts on the earpiece. I'm about to get interrupted, but I just think they're super cute. Hello. 
So if you guys are interested in checking out Zenf and any of their glasses, go ahead and check the description box below for some discount codes and for all the direct links to the products that I purchased. Okay, so we are T minus six minutes until my first Google Meet begins. So Wednesdays are a little bit different. Um, this time around, teaching virtual is very different. So we have different schedules. We're not filming video lessons anymore. We're Google meeting for longer, not by much, but it's a little bit more balanced and it's a lot like our schedule at school. So um, usually on regular days, we have 45 minute Google meets and then the kids have 45 minutes to work independently per class. And then there's a bunch of scheduled breaks within the day. Wednesdays are a bit different. There are less breaks, but it's a shorter day. So <clears throat> today I'm gonna see my homeroom kids for about 15 minutes. I will send them to watch their library videos. And then um, I will meet them again for science class. And that's at 10 o'clock. Um, and then we have a second period from 1040 to 1110. And then we have a 40 minute lunch break. And then we have one more um, 30 minute meet. So our Google meets on Wednesdays are 30 minutes instead of 45, but it's still fine because they have a shorter day. So anyways, I have my setup here. I'm just adding some stuff to my little to-do list that I have for the kids. So there's a cool like experiment we were going to do if we were in class. It's like the celery with the um, food coloring, but obviously we're not here. So I'm gonna give the kids the option to do that at home. And if they can, then cool. And if they can't, oh well. Um, I'm not grading them on their ability to do an at-home experiment. So it's just an option. It's just like a something that they can do if they have the things or if they wanna get the things. So, And yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is jump off of here, do my first Google Meet, and then during my break, I do have some planning and prepping that I need to do for next week. Next week, we are working on classifying plants and animals um, with uh, bivertebrate and invertebrate mammals, amphibians, all of that good stuff. So this, the last three weeks, we have spent talking about plant and animal functions and structures. Um, and so next we're gonna talk about classifying them and then adaptations. Um, and then once that's over with, uh, we'll move through the rest of the life science standards. I'm not really doing a lot of social studies right now just because science is kind of like taking the front seat uh, because it is a tested subject and it is just more of a priority. So um, I have been doing more science. I will probably push some social studies towards the end of the quarter and um, do our study on the South American cultures, which will be really fun. Um, but it is, you know, science is a little bit more important and I do need to cover all of the standards. So I am focusing on making sure I cover those first. And then if there's time, um, well, I make time for social studies. So anyway, I'm gonna get moving here so that I can get prepared and then I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay guys, so I just finished my second Google Meet and I am now watching the presidential inauguration. I just have it on in the background, just, you know, cause everybody's kind of watching it today. Um, I need to go to the restroom and I need to go heat up my food. So I'm gonna do that really fast. I do have one of my Google Meets open up for my homeroom kids though, because they're gonna hang out during lunchtime. They wanna um, see each other and socialize during lunch. So I do open that up for them. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go get my lunch warm that up and then I do have one more Google Meet at 12.05 and then I'm done with Google Meets for the day and I go on to meetings and planning and all that fun stuff and I'm already tired. All right, you guys. So I just finished up with my last Google Meet. It's 12.52. For the rest of the day, I have to go through my little to-do list. So I have a couple of parents that I need to call. I have a few emails I need to send and then I need to finish excuse me, preparing some lessons for next week. Um, just making the Google slides. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it as a Nearpod, like the lesson presentation as a Nearpod, and then make a presentation, a PowerPoint that goes with the Nearpod. 
um, or if I should just make everything a slideshow and share the slideshow that's connected to Nearpod so that if they're not in the lesson, they can still see what we did on the Nearpod. I think I'm gonna have to do it that way um, just so that they're able to see it. Or I can make it student paced and then make it so that the kids have to do it along with me. I don't know yet. I'm gonna try and see how that works. So um, we have PLC at 2.45, so I will be doing a virtual PLC and then the end of the day is at 3.50. I did forget to bring my gym clothes in today, so I think I'm probably just gonna change at the gym and uh, call it a day. Anyway, the day is going good. I am feeling a little sluggish, so I need to drink some more water, and then I think I might drink an energy drink just because I feel like I'm starting to like slip into sleepiness, and I need to be alert and functioning the rest of the day. So I think I might drink an Alani New energy drink because I have one in my fridge. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go get some work done and I'll see you guys in a minute. Second, split second, see, second later. Um, so I have been working here for about uh, an hour and a half um, and I have created three out of the five Google slideshows that I'll be using next week for um, classifying plants and animals. So I just made, um, I used a couple of Teachers Be Teachers things to kind of like create um, a lesson slideshow and um, assignments for my students for next week. Um, so I have two more to go, but I think I'm gonna save those for next week. It is 2.05, so I think what I'm gonna do is start cleaning up my space here, um, pack up my stuff, and then I'm gonna walk on over to my friend Ashley's classroom. She teaches seventh grade science. Um, my husband and her partner work together, um, and so we see each other all the time, but um, we both are in the same PLC group because we both teach science. So I think I might trot over there and just hang out in her classroom during PLC and then leave from there. So um, I also think I'm going to skip the gym today, and the reason why is I am getting a little bit of a headache just from my glasses being a little bit too tight. So I've moved them like onto my ears uh, just because they are a little bit tight on me. So um, I know that I can go in and get them adjusted, but um, this is only my second time wearing them. So I know that my they'll kind of stretch out a little bit. Um, even just moving them like that helped a little bit. I don't want to break them. There we go. That's a little bit better. But, and I haven't seen my husband in a few days, so I think I might skip the gym just so that I can like go home, relax with him, just hang out uh, before we pick up cash and then um, possibly take cash to the park or something um, as a reward for having a good day at school. So um, yeah, I think I might skip the gym, but I will be back at the gym tomorrow and I will probably go Saturday and Sunday because I'm skipping today. So um, I did crack open a... Uh, energy drink because I just, I'm starting to like slowly lose my stamina. Um, teaching virtual is very exhausting. Um, teaching in person is exhausting, but it's a different kind of exhausting. Um, you know, we have our students in front of us. Um, we're interacting with them and it's just, it's different. So anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do. First, I need to go potty, turn off all my lights and pack up my stuff, which includes my work laptop. Actually, I think I might, um, yeah, I'll just bring my work laptop with me there. So anyways, um, I think that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, you guys, because I'm pretty much done for the day and I'm ready to go. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and for being here today. If you are interested in my Zimf glasses, all of the information and coupon codes will be down in the description, including links to the same exact frames that I purchased. So those will all be down there for you guys to use and enjoy. And if I haven't said it before, thank you guys so, so much for being here and for supporting this channel and for hanging out with me, um, all my virtual friends. Big hugs from me. I appreciate you. And if you guys didn't already know, I do have a new Twitch account that I have been live streaming on at least twice a week, um, give or take 
uh, here and there at least twice a week, maybe more, but it is just called Apples and Tiaras and I play The Sims 4 on there and I just kind of hang out. It's kind of like a live hangout um, and I play The Sims and sometimes I'll stream myself um, editing videos and just hanging out. So if you guys are interested in following me down in the description will be a link to my Twitch account. Go on there, give me a follow. Once I get enough followers on Twitch, I can post videos there. So I don't want to crowd my YouTube channel with like Sims videos because you know, this is like a teaching and lifestyle channel, but I will be able to post videos on Twitch. So if you're interested in watching me play The Sims or any of my Sims gameplay, you can follow me there on Twitch. And of course on Instagram, if you want to catch up with me more often. So I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you later. Bye.